Hello and welcome to another session of Brick Therapy. Today I'm reviewing set 6243. This is Blackbeard's Bounty. The set was released in 2009 for around 100 US dollars. The piece count says there's 592 pieces. Bricklink has it as 555 with eight minifigs. Let's check out the box. On the front here, you have the Brick Bounty itself showing all the pieces and it says it's a modular build. Easy, easy start. On the top, you have all the minifigs that come with this set, including the mermaid. On the back, it shows some of the other pieces that are, were also released in 2009 and the play features. And this one has the new gray shark. Instead of opening my sealed box, I have a used set that I purchased that I will be building. So let's take a minute to put it together and then we'll talk about it. All right, here it is, 6243 Brickbeard's Bounty. Like I said, this was released in 2009 as part of the re-release of the Red Coats. Let's look at the minifigures first. So first off, we have Captain Brickbeard, and he's sporting the new torso with the gold hook. You look at the skull, it's a little bit wider at the top, which is, I guess, part of the newer design. His back has a buckle, and that's about it. No printing on the back of the head. He has a crew of three pirates, one with a tri-corner hat, and then two with bandanas. They all have back torso printing, but no second face. Next, we have the Admiral's daughter, and like other female figures, she does not have regular legs. She has a slope piece with printing on front that matches her torso dress, and her face looks very similar to the mermaid's face. We're given two Imperial guards, one with a tri-corner hat and one with a Shaco. So I'm assuming this will probably be the officer and this is the soldier. And they come with a rowboat that I guess could be used for either side. There's no flag on the rowboat to indicate who it belongs to. This is the first time I'm receiving the bigger light gray shark and I actually kind of like it. It has that clicking motion for the jaw. And I think it's big enough where you can actually fit a minifigure in it. Oh, there you go. So with their hands up, you can have the minifigure being swallowed by the shark. The ship also comes with a parrot. So one of the things I noticed with these sails is that I keep trying to curl in back here. So I'm thinking of getting another piece to put over here to stop it from curling in. And that goes for the front here also because it just slides down and it drops. So I'm thinking if I have something over here that will hold it up, maybe it won't fall down so much. So I'll test that out. First, let's look at the armament. You have three firing cannons. One in the back, so that's good if you're being chased by the Imperials to shoot back at. And then you have two in the lower deck. It would be nice to have four so they don't have to keep switching it back and forth. It's probably a cost issue. And then other than that, there's not much down here. You have two of the muskets up here on the uh, forecastle. Except if you look back here, there's nowhere for them to stand to shoot those guns. So it'd be nice if they would put a... Uh, something for them to stand on. Back here you have a chest full of gems. I guess you could also put the gold, four pieces of gold that I didn't want to take it off. And then up here you have a steering wheel for the ship that is not attached to anything. And this top part can be removed to show what's inside the cabin. And the cabin is pretty sparse. All you have in here, you have this stool, round stool, and you have a table with a map and a goblet. But it does have six windows with opening shutters and has two doors to get in and out of the cabin. So although it has a ladder piece to get you from, I guess, down here up to the door, there's nothing that will get you all the way up to the top deck. I think they call it the poop deck. So I would like to see them remove one of these doors. I mean, there's no reason to have two doors and put like a stairway instead. Back here, you can also open this up if you want to get deeper in there pretty dark so on this side you have a plank so the pirates can have prisoners walk the plank 
up here you have a net that you can store either people or supplies and it has a little arm that will lower slightly and raise but other than that it doesn't really rotate to either side down here you have a little rat and this little tunnel piece and this is an area that is pretty open but no way to get down there to play underneath there is a barrel with a spout down there so i don't know how they would get down there to get that booze you have two crates with cannonball and that's about it i'm glad to see that they went back to the 16 stud wide boat pieces and the two center ones are more compatible to the older vintage sets but the front and back part here are not they are different uh i guess they could still be compatible if you want to work it somehow the one thing that i'm disappointed about with this set is the lack of weapons the rowboat has one musket and the boat has two muskets at the front that's it you only get three with the whole set and then sword wise you have one extra sword in the barrel here then it has one extra sword for you to give to either the pirates or the soldiers and then there's two small pistols and that's it that's all you get all right that's my review of lego set 6243 blackbeard's bounty let me know what you think of this set in the comments below and i will see you in the next brick therapy session take care